Welcome back. It is like Craigslist, but without the cost. And it is taking over Spokane neighborhoods. The Buy Nothing Project started in the Seattle area. It has expanded, though, all over, allowing neighbors to connect with each other in the name of sharing. Who are the people that can really help you the most? Are the people that are right, right there? We'll search Buy Nothing on Facebook and results will pop up. Leticia Gentis, who is the project organizer for all of Eastern Washington, says that our Spokane neighborhoods, all of them, now have Buy Nothing groups. The goods and services that are offered help fill needs among neighbors, but that's not the only thing that they're going to gain if you take part. KXY 4's Caroline Rourke working for you. And Caroline, really, the uh, Buy Nothing project wants to help all of us to be better neighbors. Exactly. That is what sets it apart from other functions like Craigslist yeah. or like even Facebook's uh, marketplace feature that involve, you know, taking goods that you have that you don't need anymore and offering them up. Only it's different in that one, it's hyper local and mm -hmm. two, if you can guess by its title, yeah. there's something else that sets it apart from those <laughs> groups as well. It's a gift economy. So it's connecting neighbors through offering and receiving gifts. It's knocking on your neighbor's door to ask for a cup of sugar with a modern day social media spin. The Buy Nothing Project allows neighborhood groups to connect through Facebook to share. Whether people are giving items that they have that they have no longer have any use for, they're giving them, who can I bless with this item? The only rule, no selling or buying, not even trading or exchanging. This is about giving and sometimes asking. There's no expectation that it yeah. would be reciprocal, although as it works out, you know, all of us probably have had things that we That's could that we could share and then also are able to take advantage of something that somebody else has to offer. The project started a few years ago in Bainbridge Island, Washington. And it just grew up out of that and it's it's global now. In fact, all of Spokane is now covered with different groups for different neighborhoods. So on the group you can be like, hey, I need some cheese, which I've done. <laughs> and, you know, somebody from around the corner that you wouldn't necessarily be close to and they're like, hey, I have it. The offering of goods and services is helpful, but there's a bigger goal behind Buy Nothing Groups and that's building a community. So the feeling of neighborhood is on the platform as well as in person and so yeah. it's kind of taking social media and bringing it back to being neighbors. Neighbors, yeah. The groups are easy to find on Facebook, but Nadine, as you now know, you have to ask to join the one for your neighborhood. That's because the project is really focused on this concept of give where you live and building that intra or intra neighborhood connection there. Yeah. And only it, one neighborhood too. And only one neighborhood. Yeah. You can only yeah. join one, and that's the neighborhood that you live in. <laughs> yeah. In studio, Caroline Work, KXY4 News. Thanks, Caroline. Mm -hmm.